Hi everyone, it's Nisha. Welcome to my favourites in my bedroom. And there is a good reason why I am in my bedroom, because the first item belongs in your bedroom. So a few weeks ago I have been sent the rest of a cool cooling blanket. It is called blanket, but to me this is comforter, duvet. Um, it looks like I would say my summer duvet actually is about that thickness. So this is for us hot ladies. If you suffer with night sweats, with hot flashes, or you're just a hot sleeper like I am. I am a very hot sleeper. I always sleep with my windows open. Even in the winter, I have to have my window slightly open. This is a godsend. I cannot even explain to you how this feels. So first of all, uh, let me show you how lovely packaged it came. It came in, in this big box, lovely folded. What you're supposed to do is to put it straight in a washing machine, uh, like with anything that is new. So I washed it and then I started sleeping under it every night. So, first of all, I cannot even explain to you how the fabric feels. All that comes to my mind is cloud, marshmallow. It's just the softest, smooth fabric that I've ever felt. And also, it's really cool to the touch straight away. It just feels so, so lovely. So sleeping under it is just a bliss. You get in to bed and this immediately feels cool. It's not something that is going to keep you cold, but it has that cool to touch feel. I have been sleeping so well under this. Usually in the night I will slightly wake up now and again to kick my duvet off, then I get cold, then I bring it back. I never wake up with this and I never have to take it off or put it back on. So this is due to the fabric, the science of the fabric, how it is made. Some companies will make something similar but they will use like cooling silicones which then just wash off in your washing machine. This is, this is different. So this is made from a very fine, super thin yarn, even finer than silk. And to be honest, this actually feels smoother and cooler than silk and much smoother and cooler than cotton. But yes, it's definitely smoother than silk. It is very breathable and moisture wicking. So, you know, you don't get that temperature fluctuations. Like if you were sweating, you then get really hot, then you get really cold because you were sweating. This just keeps you at the same temperature I would say and it is just the best thing ever and actually even Paul loves it. So the ultra fine fibers give you that cool smooth silky feeling and the ultra breathable Sorona feeling encourages the airflow so it wicks the sweat and heat away from your body and it gives you comfortable cool lovely night's sleep. So um, I have a code in the description box and 30% off with my code NISHA, NISHA30. So please look in the description if you would like to buy this blanket. This blanket comes only in three colors. That's the only negative. It comes in this ivory, gray and blue. Because you obviously want this to be a color to match your bedroom deco. That's why I chose this one because I've got like a mink color everywhere this will go. Although I would love it in that sort of mink color. Because you're not supposed to put duvet covers on, on it. Don't do it because that defeats the purpose. You will lose the cool, cool feeling from it. It will just be pointless. So you don't put any duvet covers. You don't need to worry about this getting dirty because it's really easy, you just chuck it in a washing machine, don't put any fabric conditioner with it, you don't need it, it's still soft, I didn't put any uh, fabric conditioner 
and then you can hang dry it it dries really quickly or you can dry it in a dryer on a low heat now this has only recently came to the UK and if you look on a website you will see that they also have sheets and pillowcases to go with it but unfortunately they are not available yet to buy in the UK and I can't wait because as soon as they are available I'm buying the whole sheet set with the pillowcases it's such a difference since I've been sleeping on this the difference between this and the cotton sheet that I sleep on it feels like you're sleeping on a sandpaper now comparing to this so yeah as soon as the sheets become available I'm definitely buying a set I love it so much I really look forward to going to bed every night I remember the link and my discount code is in the description box my next favorite is this stainless steel ice roller from Vanity Planet this has been sent to me years ago you might remember in one of my Monday videos I told you that I found it and I was going to do a separate video on face rollers but I've decided not to buy any other face rollers I'm happy with this so as you know I've been suffering with these swollen under eye bags from my leftover filler or god knows from what so when I saw this the other day in my, well, the other week, because I've been using it for a while now, in my freezer, I thought, hmm, let me try this. So I leave it overnight in the freezer. I do it in the evening when I've taken my makeup off. I just roll it under my eyes and actually all over my face. It depuffs your face. It encourages blood flow. I love the feeling of it. It's a bit squeaky, especially when you first take it out of the freezer because of the, you know, ice and all that getting into things, I suppose. And this has helped me tremendously. I haven't had those bags since I've been using this. Now, I don't know where you can get it. I will look for it. But if not, they do similar things on Amazon. Although I don't know if I've seen a stainless steel. I've seen plastic ones. They obviously have something inside them that you can freeze like that gel. But I think stainless steel is the best. You will see also <clears throat> these stainless steel globes. So they look like big spoons and you're supposed to massage your face with those i don't like those because these ones you have to use with oil or something otherwise you will be just pulling your skin i like this because it actually rolls so you use it on a clean skin without any oils so this i love okay fake tans the bondi sands technical color mine is in magenta which is rich deep tone love this i've discovered it this year you know i love my fake tan i even use it in the winter this one has lovely color it's not orange it's, i've got it on now it's a uh, pretty natural looking it doesn't leave you streaky and also doesn't have that horrible stink then you probably already know that I can't be without this. This is the Iconic London Prep Set Tan. And I'm going to repeat it again. Don't mistake it for this. Because they look very similar. The tan is in that skinny bottle. This is just setting spray. I've made a mistake and bought this instead of this. But I quite like this as well. So remember that you're looking for Prep Set Tan this is prep set glow <laughs> and this comes into colors lighter and darker mine is in darker i just love it as my facial mist and sometimes here you know if i don't need a tan all over my body because it's not very warm i can only do the things that you can see my hands my face and my chest <laughs> How I use it is obviously you shake it, spray it, and I use big kabuki brush and buff it in. That's the best way to do it. I think actually they come with a kabuki brush when you buy this spray. I've just ordered another one because I got the other one by mistake, uh, but I still have quite a lot. It lasts a very long time. I know it's a small bottle, but I use it a lot. 
and it lasts a long time. It wouldn't if you used it for your whole body, but just for your face and your chest, it's enough. You know, I love makeup re removing balms. I double cleanse, so I love the balms because they really melt your makeup and I take it off with a cloth and then I use like a gel, gel cleanser because balms will always leave a bit of a, you know, oily residue. And my all-time favorite is the Hamish all clean balm but I thought I'd try this one it's from e.l.f. and this is the holy hydration makeup melting cleansing balm this was 10 pounds I didn't look how big it was so to be honest this is not a great value for money I think because this is just 50 mil my Hamish is 120 mil and Hamish is 14 pounds so it's better value for money also, I think this came with a little spatula, but there is nowhere to put the spatula. Whereas on a Hamish, I have like a cover where I put the spatula and then the top. But saying that, this is wonderful. It's, the Hamish is a bit thicker and you have to really work it in before it turns completely into that melted butter. This melts straight away and it takes makeup off really really well so if you are looking for a balm this is lovely I'm just not sure if this is better value for money than the Hamish but I really really like the actual product now uh, Beauty Pie I know not all of you are members although you can still buy stuff from there if you are not a member you just pay much higher price but I always forget to tell you about Beauty Pie you can have take advantage of one month the members prices without paying anything any membership and then you can see if you like it or not uh, so if you wanted to try it you can do it that way anyway so for those of you who are members the cream bronzer I love this bronzer and you know I'm not a cream bronzer or cream blusher girl but for some reason I really like this one I have Charlotte Tilbury cream bronzer but I prefer this one this one is in Goldilocks which is I think the lighter one love this bronzer it will last you forever as well and the Beauty Pie Astro Pink cream blush I'm wearing it today so and, and the bronzer again I have few cream blushes but I have the Charlotte Til Tilbury one you know the one in a tube with the sponge and they are beautiful but I find I waste a lot of it because I don't really want to put it straight from the sponge because you usually get too much so I put it on my hand and I feel like you wasting a lot of product um, I don't like so much the ones with doe foot applicator I don't know I just like those solid cream blushes and this one is beautiful it's that sort of peachy pink with a bit of um, glow in it as well now eyelash serum so you know I've been using for years Fysico but Fysico is very expensive it's over hundred dollars then I've used Revitalash which is over a hundred pounds I think as well and they are both amazing very good but you might remember I found this one not long ago, the UK Lush Serum. And I've been using it now for, I don't know, three months or so. And this is really good. And I think this one is around £40. So I've been always looking for, for a cheaper one because I use it every night. Yes, I might forget now and again. And when I go away, I probably don't take it with me but I use it all the time it's just like in my nighttime routine and this one works really really well so if you are looking for new eyelash serum I would definitely recommend this one now apart from the foundations that I wear all the time I must say that I'm really really loving the Derma Blend Flawless Creator you know it's like a serum foundation I have two different colors I always have to have two different colors I have N40 and N43 so depends how tanned I am use one or the other or mix them um, this is very thin like serum it's it's quite glowy 
but not too glowy that makes you look look greasy so it doesn't look cakey because it's so thin but it has a lot of pigment therefore gives you really good coverage and I have reviewed this and showed them to you so you probably have already seen it but this is definitely really really good foundation I'm wearing that today as well now for eyeshadows you know for me it's very difficult to choose favorite uh, all of them are my favorite but I must give a shout out to the alter ego palette so you know these are very inexpensive between 12 and 20 dollars and they are dupes basically for high-end palettes and my favorites are the coastal which is a dupe for Huda quartz palette and it's a very good dupe I've done tutorials with it so you've seen it and the the latest one that I use quite a lot is the Shadow Kiss, which is a dupe for Natasha Denona Glam Palette. They are honestly brilliant. The colors are almost identical to the high-end ones and the performance is pretty darn good. So, you know, I understand. I mean, I have the original ones and obviously I love them. But if I knew about these, maybe I wouldn't buy those because they are very, very expensive. And, you know, I have so many palettes and it's my job, you know, to buy this stuff and show it to you. But if you love the look of those two, or two high end palettes, you know, but you don't want to spend that amount of money, then honestly, these are great. Oh, when I was talking about the cleanser, I forgot to show you this. So I am also obsessed with cloths that I take my makeup off with and you might remember I've shown you this one they came in pack of two a while ago I love these because they are not like heavenly soft they have a bit of roughiness to them and I like that because I really feel like it takes my makeup off and they rinse off so well all the makeup comes off you know this one even even the white ones but as you know lately I've been suffering a bit with that dermatitis around my nose and I thought I don't want to use anything rough to aggravate it so I thought I find something different and I found these on Amazon as well these are the softest face cloths ever they are like microfiber they are just lovely uh, I must say I prefer using the rough one but I know not everybody does and not everybody thinks you should use anything rough on your skin. But I wouldn't say this is rougher than like a muslin cloth. This is just like really, really soft. And um, they come in a pack of three, but one of them is in my bathroom. So if you don't like anything rough, you want something really, really soft. These are beautiful. And the last favorite thing, this won't be a surprise to you at all. <laughs> if you watch me all the time is these the travel hangers I love this thing I cannot believe I haven't discovered it before because wherever I go away I will always take my normal hangers with me I just pile them on the top of my clothes in a suitcase and sometimes they break you can't take too many because of the awkward shape and stiffness but these folding hangers and they are really robust um, I like these as well so you can hang you know your your camisoles I also have seen ones they have here like hanging clips that you could use for trousers for example so I might get those as well I think they come in a pack of eight I've bought two packs or maybe even three no two packs and I've been taking them away with me every time I go somewhere. They, these are a must. You know, they are so small, light, flat. Just shove them in your suitcase and you're ready to go. Okay, my lovelies. So these were my summer favourites, especially the blanket. For us hot ladies, I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching and stay fabulous. Bye.